Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for April 2nd, 2021. The character of this island and the mod for our sealed deck craft a deck from three random cards. Vintage, normal enemies drop relics instead of cards. And lethality, you start each combo with plus three strength and all enemies start each combo with plus, with plus three strength as well. I see Warpal up here with 1373. I do want to briefly review... The top scores from yesterday's run, I did very poorly yesterday and uh, I died to the Act 2 boss. Well, I would have had if I had didn't rerun. Oh, also I see Steven up here. Anyway, so let's not focus too much on yesterday's run. Sealed deck and Vintage. So that means that I will uh, pretty much not be able to add up any other cards besides things I get from shops. And with Lethality, um, all right, so I think a very aggressive deck would work. I do see a Catalyst, but pretty much no other source of poison except for the noxious units which just by itself wouldn't be enough and because i can't really pick up many other cards with vintage i think i'll just focus on the strength card so i could also try to go for actually no i should go for highlander because it's going to be very difficult to get any collective bonuses even though i could get three slices already but so i think offensively i'm in pretty good shape i have backstab dagger spray uh, i will probably pick one slice i would like a piercing well for defend uh, for defense, I mean. And, um, okay, so those are the cards I'm pretty confident I'll take. Skewer seems like a good idea, and dash for defense. Okay, so I'm afraid I'm a little heavy on offense and not enough on defense. I wonder if I should take something like Cloak and Dagger for shivs and defense. Let's take that. Infinite Blades is decent. Gives me reliable 7 damage every turn for 0 cost. What else? Who's my final boss here? If it's the Hexagos, I would like some weakness. Nope, nope, it's not the Hexagos. I mean, still, I'm trying to think if I should take a Sucker Punch and Heal Hook. Mm, I Or something defensively, like Dodge and Roll and Escape Plan, maybe. Or a Deflect, or Acrobatics. I do have enough zero-cost cards that the Acrobatics might be useful. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll do Acrobatics and either the Deflect or Escape Plan. I'm leaning towards Deflect. Let's do that. Okay. So I think this is a pretty good deck in terms of offense. I have a Dash, Skewer, Slice, Dagger, Spray, and Backstab. And um, Infinite Blades and Acrobatics are um, support and the rest is defense. Alright, in terms of Elites, uh, unfortunately... Nope, never mind. There's a 3 Elite Path. If I start, if I get to this Elite and then turn left, um, and up until that point I get 2 question marks and 4 total with a mid-level shop. Okay. All right, so, yeah, Skewer does 30 damage, which is pretty good by itself. Actually, I should have done Dagger Spray with one energy. That would have dealt four more damage, but I don't think that should make a big difference. Okay. All right, we've got a Potion Belt. Up and pick up, gain two Potion Slots, as well as an Attack Potion. Good. And then here, a Dagger Spray would be enough to kill everybody. Great. Toxic Egg, whenever you add a skill into deck, upgraded. Very nice to get it this early on, although, again, it will be hard to, up to get many skills here. So let me do Deflect, Cloak, and Dagger. And Piercing One, you know what? I don't need to lose HP if I don't have to, so let's not do that. Okay. And here I can kill with Dash. Good. Duvidol, for each curse, curse in your deck, start each combo with one strength. Okay, so, I mean, I was incentivized to pick up more curses, and that makes it official. All right, let me draw the Dagger Spray. Perfect. Okay. Kunai, every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. That's actually really good um, because I do often play more than three cards. Remove, transform, or upgrade. I don't think I'll transform anything here. Um, do I want to upgrade something? I'm thinking of upgrading the dash because I am a little worried about the fence. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's upgrade the dash. And then I think on the next right side, I should really update the defensive cards mostly because um, I have a, the upcoming boss might want... My defensive cards to be upgraded. Let's do infinite blades. And then uh, dash does 16 damage. This is 20, right? So let's do backstab and skewer. So I would like the dash next turn. This is a little unfortunate. I drew it this turn already. Uh, never mind. All right. So let's do dash. Okay. Wait, can I... I don't think I could have killed here, right? Slice, shiv. And then I can do cloak and dagger. All right. And then I have a significant chance of being able to kill next turn. Yep. All right. Perfect. This one. Very good. We got Pocket Watch. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards to start your next turn. That's very good. 
And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't want to go for the uh, collector bonuses because Highland is going to be easy, but I would love another backstab. But no, I guess I don't even know if I want to go for Bane because I don't have any poison, right? So it's just seven damage. You know what? I think I'll skip this one. Yeah. So far, the deck is working out pretty well. At Ancient Tea Set, one of the enter rest sites, start next combo with two extra energy. Okay. All right, here, Dagger Spray would be great. Uh, yep, and I can fully defend with the dash. Uh, let me do Dagger Spray first. Okay, and then Slice Backstab. Almost enough to kill the Backliner. Actually, Dash is enough to kill the Backliner. Yeah, let's just do Dash and then Backstab you, just in case I um, don't have enough to defend next turn. Okay. So here, yeah, this is what I was worried about. Um, I think a two energy skewer is enough, right? So do I want to do acrobatics? Another dagger spray would be enough too. Yeah, let's try to draw it. Perfect. So dagger spray and then slice and skewer. All right, perfect this one as well. Got lantern, so I just come with additional energy as well as a regen potion, which I probably will need. Do I want choke? Hmm. Calcite Gamble is not bad here because it will allow me to cycle through my deck faster. Choke is interesting. I don't have that much cards that I play every turn. I think I'll go with the Calculated Gamble. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we got Smiling Mask. The Merchant's Card Removal Silver is now always cost 50 gold. Probably not going to use it too often. All right, looking for a Dagger Spray here. Yep. Oh, this guy's still alive. Well, I have a Backstab as well. Oddly Smooth Stone, Starch Call with One Dexterity as well as a Strength Potion. Okay. Do I want to shop here? It would help me get more cards. Actually, more defensive cards. But no, I have to maximize Question Mark Room, so let's do that. Well, this guy's a looter, so that's not super useful. Let's do dash to not take any damage. And then I can do skewer. Yep. Ornamental Fan is actually really good for every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block, as well as the Entropic Brew. Okay, so I think I'm pretty good on potions. So again, for the upcoming boss, I do want to upgrade defensive cards. Actually, I guess it's just the Cloak and Dagger and the Flag, but I think I should get both of those upgraded. So let's start with the Cloak and Dagger. Actually, I realized the Cloak and Dagger didn't give me defense. It, okay, next I'll upgrade the Deflect. Okay, so... Um, backstab, Slice... Um, now, I have extra energy, so I should play. I was trying to think if I should trigger the Pocket Watch, but no, I think this is good. Okay. Alright, 17. Uh, this is 30. Yeah, with the Shiv, it's enough. Good. Okay, we got Frozen Egg. Whenever you add a power card into your deck, upgrade it, as well as an upgrade at Infinite Blades. Um, no, not for the upcoming fight. Concentrate would only work if I have the uh, Skewer in the same hand. Again, I think I'll skip. So I could go for another Infinite Blades. It's not going to help me against the upcoming boss. And yeah, I don't think none of those, any of those would have helped me against the upcoming boss. All right, here I got Question Card, Future Card Awards, and one additional card to choose from. That might be pretty useful. And I end up fighting the Sentry Seer. So let's do Acrobatics. Okay, Dagger Spray. I could do Dash, I guess. Hang on, let me do that. This doesn't count against my Perfect, so I don't have to Perfect, but I will try. Actually, Cloak and Dagger is probably better, right? Yeah, this is 16 damage, whereas this is going to be 14 damage for uh, one energy rather than having to spend two energy. So let me kill one of you. Okay. And then I can do Slice and Skewer. All right. Okay, and then here, another Dagger Spray and Slice and Cloak and Dagger for a kill. Good. All right, we got a Block Potion, which is better than the Region Potion, actually, for the upcoming boss fight. Much better. Ooh, Pomper Modifier. Do I want to go for the Corpse Explosion? Um, It is upgraded, and it's a good source of poison and it would allow me very easily to get the overkill modifier which i'm not really guaranteed to get otherwise let me take it and then worst case scenario i can remove it on act three with the smiling mask right yeah okay so next let me upgrade the deflect all right okay at least i have a good set of potions i am actually thinking of drinking some of these uh let's do the strength potion yeah yeah let's do that just in case it's not, I don't think it's super necessary, but just in case. Let's do Infinite Blades, Cloak and Dagger. I'm trying to get some decks going here. All right, and then I'll do Dagger Spray, Backstab Acrobatics, okay. 
get rid of... Actually, yeah, here I can just do Corpse Explosion, right? And then next turn I'll have Dash or Skewer. Dash is pretty good, yeah. Okay. 12 incoming, so Dash is exactly enough, but I won't be able to play anything else. I do want to keep the Piercing Whale for another turn. This also triggered the Pocket Watch, which is good. Okay, so here Piercing Whale might be best. Hang on, can I defend here? This is 17, I need 22. Um, trying to think if I can save the piercing. Oh, actually, I have a dash coming up. Yeah, I can get that with the calculate gamble, right? Uh, all right, so let's do cloak and dagger deflect. So dash will give me another uh, 15, right? So I 22, 15 is 5, 10. So I can do three attacks here. Okay, so one shiv, two shiv, three shiv. Oh, actually, hang on. Can I do one more attack? Uh, wait, actually, dash is not... Hang on, I miscalculated. It's not 15 block or 16 block. I'm going to take damage, right? So it's just going to be 13 block, 25. So I can do one more attack, I believe. Let's do shiv, calculate gamble. Okay, and then dash. I really hope this is right, right? 16, 27. Yeah, I think it should be fine. Okay, this is actually perfect. All right. Okay, it's 32. Um, can I kill here? Or I can just do piercing well, right? Uh, skewer is actually not enough damage. Shiv and skewer should be fine. Yeah, let's do. Can I do piercing well? No, no, no. Mm. I don't think there is a reason to. Let's just do shiv and then skewer. Okay. Alright, another 12. Yeah, dashes. I'm getting really lucky with when I draw the dash. Um, and I can do cloak and dagger, right, to gain extra decks. Uh, one, two, and three. Actually, I can get a fourth one in, thanks to the ornamental fan, and he's dead. I didn't even notice. All right, yeah, so I was worried of drawing the Wraith form. Because I kind of feel like... I'm not sure if I should actually take it. Hang on. So, it would allow me to perfect some fights. Yeah, I think I should take it. Do I want Nightmare? I mean, I could Nightmare a bunch of useful cards, but let's go with the Wraith form. It helped me yesterday quite a bit. Let's take it. All right, and then here I definitely want to go with the Curse Key. Get energy of your turn. Whenever you open an Ombos chest, obtain a curse. That should help get me some do it -alls. Uh, Might be difficult to get five curses, but five unique curses for that. But it's definitely possible. All right, uh, only a two. No, actually multiple two lead paths. So if I stick on the right, I'll get one, two, three, four question marks, as well as an early shop. If I generally stick on the left, on the far left, I would get one, two, three, four, five question marks in a late shop. If I start left and then turn right, I'll get five, no shop. And then in the middle, I'll get less than that. All right, so I think I'll go on the far left. That'll give me five question marks and a shop up here, which I think is good. That'll be my first shop too, right? Okay. All right, 16. Yeah, I, I don't know. Do I want to do Wraith from here? I mean, I can, right? I can also just defend almost fully with the dash. Yeah, fine. Let's keep the Wraith for later. Backstab, Corpse Explosion. Let's do Calculate Gamble and a uh, Cloak and Dagger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here I can do Slice, Dagger, Spray, Dash, and Infinite Blades. Yeah, now that I have extra energy, I shouldn't have any issues with these fights. We got Regal Pillow. Whenever you rest, you'll additional 15 HP. That's probably never going to happen. Transform a card. I don't think I'll transform anything. I'm pretty happy with the deck as is. Okay. All right, birds here. I need the dagger spray. Thank you. Thank you for listening, game. Because uh, otherwise I have 40 incoming, which is something I would like to avoid. Let's do dagger spray, cloak and dagger. Shiv, shiv. And then backstab uh, you. And I think I'll just do a three energy skewer. Or should I try... I should do the Calculate Gamble to get back to my... Um, what do you call it? Dagger Spray as soon as I can. Hmm. Alright. 18. Corpse Explosion does it, right? Okay. Alright, we got Tor and Thopto. One of you uses a potion to heal 5 HP. And a Poison Potion. Yeah, I have a very good set of potions. I'm very happy with that. Again, I don't think I need Wraith from here. Let's do dash, slice, backstab, deflect, and then skewer you. Okay. Mm 
I'm waiting for the dagger spray here. Cloak and dagger. Ooh, I should have done... Ah, that was silly. I should have done corpse explosion. That would have dealt a good amount of damage. That's fine. Hopefully it's not going to come back to bite me here. Uh, let's do dash again. Shiv and... I could have done corpse explosion. I would have killed him next turn, but it's fine. Okay. We got bottle flame up. Pick up just an attack. Sarge, come with this guy in your hand. Let me first... Um, you know what? I don't think I need a poison potion as much as a skill potion. And bottle flame, should that be the dash to make sure I'm always fully defended in the first turn? Or dagger spray, because that will deal a lot of damage with the strength I have. Although I guess I only have, so it's only 14 AoE damage. It is nice. I'm trying to think. Let's take the dash. Let's be safe. Yeah, that way um, I won't lose by just having a... Or I won't lose a perfect by just having a bad draw. So... I will do piercing well in a second. Let me see if I need it, actually. So 22. Yeah, actually, I do need it. Uh, let's just do piercing well here. And then skewer. I should have done backstab first and calculate gamble. Okay. All right, not getting attacked here. Let's do cloak and dagger, infant blades. Shiv, shiv, dagger spray. Okay. And another skewer would kill here. Good. Okay, we've got a new chakra. We have time to play 10 attacks, gain extra energy, as well as a strength potion, which I don't think I'll take. I'm happy with the potions I have. Right, this would be a great example of wanting the dagger spray in the opening hand, but hang on. So I could draw the wraith form, right? Actually, I will draw the wraith form. Let's do that. So let's do deflect. Um, hang on. I just need... Okay, to be safe, I need six cards. Oh, so I'm already not safe. Hang on. Uh, is it possible for me not to draw the... I could do acrobatics. You know what? Yeah, fine. Let me do acrobatics. Um, get rid of this. Then uh, now I just need to draw three cards. So I would like... Do I want to dagger spray? Cloak and dagger. Let's do the dagger spray, actually. Okay, backstab. Then calculate... Well, and slice is fine. Yep. Then calculate gamble. Then I'll do... Actually, yeah, I might have been able to kill with Wraith Form, right? Now, uh, Corpse Explosion, now I think about it. No, no, no. I, well, okay, whatever. Let's just do Wraith Form here. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think I might have been able to perfect this one. Uh, let me see if I can get Corpse Explosion now. That's fine. And then Calculate Gamble. And Corpse Explosion, Okay. Yeah, I have to remember to play some block every turn here. Okay. And this should kill. Alright. Perfect. This one we got mobbing. Whenever you climb the floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. And do I want an upgraded burst? I mean, having an upgraded burst on Corpse Explosion is pretty good. Uh, you know what? There are enough skills that I would like to double play. And I don't want these two. And I already have this one. Let's take it. I wonder if, not, if going for the popper would have been doable um because i'm i mean i like the rare cards but i'm not relying on them too much uh, let's not play the wraith from just yet let's do oh should i try to burst the corpse explosion here i think i should so let me not try not play more than three cards uh let's just do dash dagger spray and skewer okay so that way i'll draw all the cards next turn okay and then yeah let me burst the corpse explosion so I'll take some damage this way, but that will allow me to get the overkill modifier, right? And let's double up on the deflect as well. Slice. Um, let me do calculate gamble. And uh, yeah, actually, I'm f I'm good here already. Okay, 137 damage. Not bad. We got strawberry. I'm pick up race from extra by seven. Doesn't essence of steel, which seems better than which of these? Yeah, I probably don't need the fear potion that much. Okay, did I decide? Yeah, I'm gonna go in the far left, right? That'll give me two more question marks in a shop. Whereas the other paths don't give me an, a guaranteed shop. Okay, so this is sort of why I wanted the dash in my opening hand. Um, hang on. Anything I want to burst? I could burst the acrobatics. Do I want to pick up the wraith form? Not a bad idea. Let's do slice backstab. So if I burst the acrobatics, I won't be able to play the dash. Um, but I'm very likely to draw the Wraith form, right? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Wait, if I do that, oh, well, Wraith form and Deflect, that's what I need. Okay, so let's burst the Acrobatics. 
Um, here I'll get rid of this, and here I'll get rid of this. Then do deflect and wraith form. And do I want to do calculate gamble? No, no, I think I'm good. Okay. Mm, three incoming. Okay, I was worried. I do need some block here. Let's do cloak and. Actually, I don't even. No, I do need block. Yeah, cloak and dagger, infinite blades, a slice, shiv, shiv, and skewer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here. Uh, this is my last turn of intangibility, right? I probably don't want to apply the poison here. I think there are better things I can do. Let's just do shiv, dash, and dagger spray. And I don't think I'll play anything just so I can draw more cards next turn. Or should I should do acrobatics. No, I think that's right. Well, eh, fine. Corpse Explosion is good. Let's do that. Okay. Alright, so I have... Uh, that's a lot of incoming. Um, so double playing the deflect is not going to help. Can I kill here? 48. No, hang on. Uh, I can if I do Dagger Spray Shiv and then the Skewer. Okay. All right, perfect. This one we got Happy Fire. We three turns, get extra energy and... Upgrade Noxious Fumes. Yeah, no. I mean, it doesn't really fit this deck. It's not going to hurt me. But yeah, I don't think it really fits this deck. Uh, let's go with the Distraction. Not a huge fan, but it might give me something good. Okay, we got the first curse, Doubt as well. Sure, can every time play three attacks in a single turn, get one strength. That's very nice. And here, oh, this is great. Should have no trouble against these. Okay, do I want to start with Wraith Form? You know what? Yeah, that way I don't have to worry about damage. Open Dagger, Backstab, Shiv, Shiv, Slice, and... Um, why did I attack this guy? Should have probably started with the Backliner. Not, not a big deal. All right, so let me burst the Corpse Explosion and the Distraction. Dodge and roll, and uh, acrobatics would give me... Yeah, let's try to get... Oh, I was hoping to get rid of the curse, but that didn't happen. All right. Oh, I thought I'd have extra energy. That's fine. I can't do any attacks. This is why I should have attacked the backliner there. First a dodge and roll, I guess. Okay. And he's dead with the poison here, right? Okay. Alright, uh, definitely want to fight a powerful fight. Okay, here I definitely want to attack the backliner first. So let's do cloak and dagger. Okay. Shiv, shiv, slice, backstab, dash. Calculated gamble, probably more so than the infinite blades, and then dagger spray. Let's do uh, the acrobatics to get one more attack. Uh, too bad I can't do corpse explosion. Um, well, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Should be able to kill the backliner next turn, though. Okay, um, distraction gives me leg sweep. Uh, let's kill this guy. Leg sweep, skewer. Okay, and then any attack kills you next turn. All right. Incense burner is really good. Every six turns, gain one intangible as well as a turn of feather. For every five cards in your deck, heal three HP whenever you enter a rest site. And uh, blade dance is pretty good. Yeah, that basically gives me strength and dex plus a bunch of damage. Okay. A little worried about getting the time meter at the end now, but if I don't get that, I should be in a very good position here. All right, uh, let's do distraction, calculate gamble. I don't really want to burst anything. Let's do backstab, dagger spray, dash. Should have probably flipped the order there to gain a little bit extra um, damage. And then actually corpse explosion is perfect here. And uh, blade does, does way more damage. Okay. Bronze skills. Uh, the Sardish combo with three thorns. Not bad. I don't think I need an extra rest side. Let's just do a regular fight. Okay, snake plant. Uh, 30 incoming. Uh, let me... Oh, I don't... A rare time where I don't have any card draw. All right, let's do the dash then. Blade dance. Actually, probably should have played the shifts before I played the dash to gain extra decks. Okay, slice infinite blades. Look at that. Taking eight damage. Could this be the first damage I'm taking ever? In this in this fight so far, no. I, I assume I've taken damage before, right? I hope. Got war paint. I'm pick up. I've got two random skills. That's acrobatics and piercing. Well upgraded. Very nice. And first shop with membership card. Perfect. Fifty percent discount on all products. Um, do I want anything here? I already have these two. Do I want a noxious fumes? It might help me in longer fight, and it's just so cheap. Let's take it. 
Nightmare. Nightmare, I think, is interesting, too. I have the gold. Let's take it as well. Probably don't need setup, though. Although, I do have enough card draw. Fine. In terms of relics, let's take Darshan Perry up. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max speed by 6. In turn, you can no longer become frail. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't think I need any potions either. Do I need to remove anything? Yeah, I'm probably not going to go for the proper modifier, right? You know what? I could. I just picked up Nightmare, though. Yeah, let's not. I do think it will be feasible. Let's see how Act 3 looks like. Before I make a decision whether it was a good idea. And there's curse number two, which is great. Wraith, as well as tough bandages. One of you discard a card during your turn, gain three block. That was the main relic yesterday, and I think I didn't utilize it well, so let's try to be better. All right, backstab. Infin I could make the infinite blade an eight, but I don't think it's super necessary. Let's up with the skewer. I think I'll be a little more powerful. Okay. So, champ who is attacking with 19 in turn one. So, this time I want to learn from my mistakes and trigger the shuriken and kunai first. So let's do blade, well, slice first and blade dance. Shiv, 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 shiv. Backstab. Okay. And then I can do dash. Uh, let's do cloak and dagger. Gain more strength and dex. And then I can do skewer. That was a very good opening hand. Mm -hmm. 15. So incense burner will be active next turn. So actually I do have wraith form too though. Um, let me think. So, let's do acrobatics. Don't need this. And then I can burst the deflect. Um, and then set up the wraith form, right? And then draw it next turn with the... Uh, or draw it immediately with the calculate gamble. But no, I don't want to play it now. No, let's keep the wraith form for later. Yeah, let's do infinite blades. Burst the deflect. Mm -hmm. And then I can do something like set up the Noxious Fumes and the Wraith Form, but I'm not going to play them now. Oh, right, never mind. Okay, this is good. Okay, so now I'm intangible. Let's do Noxious Fumes Distraction, which gives me Backflip. That's actually pretty good, especially in this situation. And do I want to Nightmare the Corpse Explosion? No, I want to Nightmare the Wraith Form. Okay. And then let's do Shiv and Dagger Spray and just wait. So now it's going to transform, and I have a bunch of zero-cost Wraith Forms. Four. Four zero-cost Wraith Forms. I mean, no harm in doing that, right? Let's play them now. Wraith Form, Wraith Form, Wraith Form, and Wraith Form. Dash, Shiv, and Dagger Spray. Something tells me that with 12 turns, actually, not just 12 turns, it'll be like 14 turns of intangibility, I should be fine. Something tells me that. Let's do Corpse Explosion, Shiv. I am losing four decks every turn, which is kind of funny. Let's set up the Cloak and Dagger backflip. Okay, shiv, shiv, skewer. Mm -hmm. All right, another one. Um, bursty blade dance, is that overkill? That might be a little overkill, but you know. Okay, all right, perfect this one, no problem. After image would give me a lot of block and it's upgraded, let's take it. All right, and then here, I don't think I need extra energy. Do I want Rune Pyramid? I don't think my ha hand will get super busy. I have lots of discard synergies. Yeah, I definitely don't want Runic Dome. Let's go with the Runic py Pyramid. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. I, I don't really think uh, there are any disadvantages. I also don't really think there are any advantages. I guess I can keep a Wraith Form until the turn I need it. So that's that's probably good. All right, so two, two Elite Paths. Both have to hit this Elite. And afterwards, if I go on the left, I'll get one question mark. If I go on the right, I'll get two. So it might be very much impossible to get the uh, Curses modifier. Uh, and sadly, none of those paths have a shop unless... No, if I want to maximize question marks, I should avoid this shop. But I also have membership cards, so I wonder if I should go for the shop instead. But yeah, I don't... I can't get more points from the shop, so I don't think I will do that. Let's just do the question mark rooms. All right, so after image, backstab... Um, infinite Blades, Dagger Spray, and Dash. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, let's do Noxious Fumes. Uh, Skewer would have killed, right? I didn't even need the Noxious Fumes. Okay, we got Urkalcum. If you enter turn without blocking, 6 block. That's actually really good for turns when I play the... Um... Do I want to lose this? You know what? Yeah, it's very likely I won't get a shop, so let's just lose it. It's really just like 900 gold, right? Because... I would have had, um, I have a membership card, but yeah, we got a red mask, as Savage Combat, apply one week to all enemies. Okay. I don't want to finish a fight and then have a bunch of gold left over, right? So might as well spend it. 
Okay, so let's do after image dash. I'm gonna try to uh, work on the spiker first. Okay. Alright, so here let's do Wraith Form just so I can attack the Spiker without having to worry about it. And then let's set up the, um, I don't know, Blade Dance? Something I want to play next turn. Oh, actually, I want a Corpse Explosion. That's why I really need. Um, uh, Distraction gives me a Malaise. Um, let's do... Can't decide. Uh, let's kill this guy. This guy's going to die from poison. This guy's going to kill himself. Okay. We got Singbo. When I add cards into your deck, you may raise your max should be by two instead. Uh, I started with. Seven. Wait, why did I have. I only had the strawberry for max HP, right? I. Oh, right, because I had the. Um, Duvidal. Not Duvidal. The. Um, Darkstone Perry up. Okay, so I got seven from that. Alright, so I need. Hang on, seven, seven, fourteen. That's still not right. Oh, seven, six, thirteen. Okay, so I need two. I need to reject one more card, basically, to gain 25 points and two more. Or. Uh, what, like nine more cards to gain 50 more points? Uh, nine, nine more cards might be difficult, but the, the one card I can definitely reject. Okay, probably don't want to do Wraith Form, or if I do, then I don't have to worry about the Exploder. Yeah, let's do it. Wraith Form, Cloak and Dagger, and then I'll do After Image, uh, Shiv, Shiv, and uh, Backstab. Okay. Maybe Backstab is one of those cards I should upgrade, because I do play it in every fight. Alright, um, before I play the Blade Dance, let's do Deflect, Slice, then Blade Dance. Okay, shiv, 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 shiv. And then I can do Acrobatics, get rid of the Doubt, and Skewer. Okay. And then he should be dead very soon, yep. Okay. We got a letter opener. Every time I play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. Nice. And upgrade another card. This is the second time I'm getting the Prey event, I believe, right? Probably don't want that to be infinite blades now. Wait, I didn't realize who's my final boss. It is Time Eater, of course. That definitely shouldn't be infinite blades. Let's take the backstab. Uh, I guess against the Time Eater, I have to use my. Uh, I have to rely on my piercing well. Okay, so let's do after image deflect. Playing some skills first. Token dagger, and uh, I could do piercing well, but I shouldn't. Let's just do shiv, shiv, backstab, and dash. Okay. Alright, 16. Um, I th well, okay, I was going to say it's too soon for Wraith form, but uh, can I defend otherwise? So if I do Piercing Will, I'll still have 8 incoming. Blade Dance would give me 4 block. No, I think I have to do Wraith form here. Yeah, let's do Wraith form. And then Blade Dance. Shiv, shiv, shiv. And slice. Actually, with piercing well and after image, I would have been able to fully defend. I should have played infinite blades. That was silly. Okay, so let's see. I could actually no. I think I'll set up something in the nightmare, the zero cost version of it. So let's set up the corpse explosion. I'll do noxious fumes, infinite blades, uh, pierce. No, and then just dagger spray. Okay. Alright, so here I'll Nightmare. Oh, I could double up on the Nightmare. Let me see what Distraction gives me first. Bouncing Flask. Okay. Let me Nightmare the Corpse Explosion. And then I'll Burst the Bouncing Flask. Okay. Yep, so 24 Poison, or 21 Poison, and then the Corpse Explosion. Okay, 39 Poison. That's not bad at all. And, uh, yep, here I can wait still. Okay, so now it's going to do the big attacks. And here I can do the free corpse explosions. Okay, then shiv. And then, alright, defense is going to be a problem this turn, right? So I do have the piercing wheel. Let me actually do that. Okay, then acrobatics. Mm, alright, alright, so I can set up something, but what would that be? Uh, let's burst the setup. Okay, and then I'm going to set up, uh, I guess, Corpse Explosion and Bouncing Flask. Then um, I'm going to do Calculate Gamble twice. Oh, didn't account for that. 
Yeah. Well, at least I'm fully defended, so there's a plus for that. Okay. Puff Bandage is actually helping me out there. And I just need to survive this turn and the next turn. He should be dead from the poison, right? So, let's see. Let's gain some decks first. Late dance. Actually, I might be able to kill here, right? Actually, yeah, I, I'm, I was too focused on defending. I think I should be able to kill. Okay. Yeah, Dire Spray and Dash. All right. Perfect this one. Got Juju Beast and normal enemy combats are normally encountered in question mark rooms, as well as Eviscerate Expertise, Reflex, or Backstab. Yeah, none of these. Uh, do I discard enough for Reflex? No, I don't think I do. Let's take the max HP here. Okay. All right. Uh, not many cards left to upgrade. Okay, and then I decided to go left, right? Left would give me... Actually, no, right, right, right would give me two, two question marks. Okay. All right, so one of these days I have to play something like Nightmare, Blade Dance, and Burst to play more than 20 cards. But let's get there first. Let's do Infinite Blades, Defl Actually, let's keep the Deflect. Let me do just Dash and Backstab. I might as well keep the Burst as well. Okay, so here, 28 incoming. Let's do Shiv. I probably want to burst the Cloak and Dagger here, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then do I want to play the Corpse Explosion? Or, you know what? It's not going to hurt. Okay. Oh, I had extra energy. Didn't realize it. Could have played the Skewer, too. Okay, Wraith Form is nice to have in the, in the hand. Let's actually set it up to make it a little cheaper, and then I can do Acrobatics, get rid of the Doubt. And I was hoping to Nightmare the Wraith form. Alright, let's play that. That way I should be again defended for, for a long time. I was not counting how much... Oh, actually, I think... Yeah, so I should have played 11 cards, right? Because the After Image sort of keeps track. Um, 12, Blade Dance. 13, 14... Oh, no, wait. Um, I didn't account for Ornamental Fan. So I'm not sure if I played 20 cards yet. I might have not. Let's play a few more. Definitely seems like I played a lot of cards. Broken Dagger, Shiv, Shiv. Yeah, I feel like I played a lot of cards here. Let's hope for the best. Alright, and then, yeah, let's just do the Wraith Forms. Alright, and then Dash, Corpse Explosion, Slice, Shiv, and Skewer. Come. And then he should be dead with uh, a little bit of effort. Come. We got pair up and pick up race to make sure we buy 10. All right, so now I just need to reject three more cards to get uh, 50 points. Um, power potion might be better than an attack potion, probably. Yep. Okay, and then I said right, right? Okay, we got decay as well as ice cream. I should not conserve between turn as well as max HP. Never mind, I don't need anything else. Also, that was risky. If that was a duplicate curse, I would not have been able to remove it. So maybe I should avoid the next uh, chest. Okay. I do have Burst and Blade Dance, but I don't think that's necessary. I feel like that last fight I probably got enough uh, HP. Or, uh, sorry, I played enough cards, I think. Let's kill you, then do... Well, I mean, I might as well still do it. Okay. And then kill you. Okay. Oh, actually, that was first turn kill. Nice. And now I got back of marbles. Marbles at the salvage combat to play one vulnerable tall enemies. That's uh should make my life easier. Okay. Alright, so corpse explosion is a great opener here. Uh, let's do after image first, corpse explosion, backstab, and dash. Mm -hmm. Actually he's dead next turn, right? Okay. Well, that was nice. Alright. We got gear. Yeah, you can now gain strength that rest sites up to three times. I might actually do that. And uh, dodge drone, sneaky strike, prepared out maneuver. I think I'm not going to get to 35 cards, so I don't think there's any reason. Let's just take max HP instead. Okay, here I could gain more, more max HP. Discovery is not a bad idea. Panic button is a personal favorite. Panache might be hard against the upcoming boss. And I don't think I'll do sadistic nature, although I do have noxious fumes. Um. Yeah, let's go for max HP here. Although an upgraded bomb is not a bad idea. Mm. 
It's better for AoE damage, right? Let's take the max HP here. Here, I'll go with the panic button. And here, let's take the discovery, sure. Yeah. All right, transient. If there is an easy way to kill, I think this is probably the right right time to try to. Let's do after image and then um, backstab, slice, and dash. Okay. These are things also to also just nightmare the wraith form. If I can draw the wraith form, I can. Uh, yeah, let's nightmare it and then play that. And then I basically just don't have to worry about anything. Do I want to get the Nunchaku to a better value? Uh, yes. So let me see. Oops, explosion skewer. Okay. Alright, and uh, I do need another Wraith form just in case. And then let's do um, Infant Blades. Okay. Mm. Shiv. Let me get rid of the Wraith. Dagger Spray. And fine, let's do Calcate Gamble. Okay, I'm hoping to play more tar attacks to get the Nunchaku to a better value. Alright. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe 7 or 8 would be better. Shiv, Dagger Spray, and uh, yeah, one, one more of these. Okay. Alright, we've got Ceramic Fish. When we add a card to deck, gain 9 gold. That's also region push, which I don't need. And lost the lead here, Reptomancer. Okay, yeah, backstab might have. Uh, not backstab, dagger throw might have been better here. Um, let me burst the. Well, let's do after image first, then burst the discovery. Another after image, sure. And a die, die, die is actually pretty good. Okay, that should kill everything. And then here I can just do backstab and dash. Alright. Alright, that's a lot of incoming. Um, I could just do Wraith form. So Wraith form alone will be enough because I have three incoming, so I have to play one more card. Uh, you know what? Let's Nightmare the Wraith form. That way I just don't have to worry about it. And then I am pretty much good. Okay. Hmm. And then here I can do Corpse Explosion. And uh, do I want Infinite Blades? Let me see what this gives me in the lace, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Another two incoming. Slice, Dagger, Spray. And I uh, should be able to kill with a decent attack card. There it is. Okay, we got Captain's Wheel at the start of the third turn, gain 18 block, as well as another attack potion, which I don't think I'll take, and yeah, here I'll skip again. Okay. Alright, uh, upgrade one of the two remaining cards, or no, let's gain strength instead, sure. Okay. Alright, Time Eater, I do have a great set of potions, so let me not despair yet. Let's drink the Essence of Steel, I'll save the rest for later. So, 21 incoming. This is with weakness, right? Let's do after image dash. Okay, and then slice and backstab. So, I am fully defended already, but let's see what I can get here. Um, I'll keep the nightmare until I get wraith form, right? So, let's do infinite blades, fine. And then the blade dance. Hang on, that's 11. Yeah, I think I can do discovery as well. And take uh, a well -aid. Actually, that was silly. Yeah, that was silly. Shouldn't have done the willy plants. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. All right, intangible. In turn, I'm not getting attacked, of course. Let's do noxious fumes. Set up the wraith form. Then shiv, shiv, dagger spray. So the next turn, I should be able to do nightmare the zero cost wraith form. Okay, let's do that. Nightmare the zero cost wraith form, and then. Play that. Is that? Yeah, it's probably necessary. And now the name of the game is deal as much damage as possible. Okay. Okay, he is transforming here. Good. So let's do the Wraith form. Okay. And then probably just Skewer, right? That's a lot of damage with the Skewer. 168. Okay. I was actually reasonably close to killing here. Um, let's just wait. 
Next turn I'll deal a bunch more damage, right? Yeah. Alright, so how much is this? 21 times 12 is uh, 200 something. Actually, that's enough to kill. Alright. Okay, 44 minutes. Good. Perfect this one. Got all the necessary modifiers. Let me see if I got combo. 1398 is pretty good. So out of the seven leads I perfect, yeah, I got everything. I didn't get combo. Okay, that one turn I should go back and count. That's probably, I probably played like 19 cards because I thought I played a lot of cards. So I'm pretty sure I could have probably tried to get combo in one fight, but that would have also made me take longer than 45 minutes. Um, so yeah, other than that, I got pretty much everything else. I am missing, no, I'm not even missing. Oh, actually, of course, having more cards. And Popper, yeah. So theoretically, I don't know if Popper would have been possible. I did rely on Popper quite a bit. Uh, oh, sorry, not on Popper, but I relied on rare cards quite a bit. Okay, I am ninth right now. That's actually really good, yeah. Um, so I think usually I play about 50 points less because I, I am usually slower. That would have put me at 1348. Yeah, I do wonder if trying to go for Popper, which would have given me another 50, so 1448, would be, well, would allowed me would have allowed me to perfect things. I doubt it. I doubt it. I think this is a pretty good score. And yeah, the only thing I can think of the people above me did is rather than going for a shot, they went for a question mark or something like that. Let me know in the comments what you did. If you went for a different strategy, let me review the sealed deck again. I think in retrospect, the idea of going for multi hits and small attacks was a really good one. And it did help me quite a bit. But yeah, I could actually no, I can't even imagine doing something with catalyst because there's not enough enough poison offer to be able to do a catalyst deck um anyway let me know in the comments and i'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching bye